Bienvenidos worldwide fans of the planet's that's hottest entertainment with an edge. I'm Ian Fuego here for my namesake program. That's right, y'all. In Fuego-tainment. I'm chilling here in the Chiron Cavern. And uh, yes, I'm finally getting home after running around for you know, a good chunk of the day and stuff like that. And I am about to check out the first teaser for none other than the ninth film by Mr. Quentin Tarantizzle. That's right. Once upon a time. In Hollywood. Now, the cast is stacked for this. Ridiculous. I mean, obviously, uh, we know that Burt Reynolds is not going to be in it because he passed away. He was originally supposed to be a part of it. But, I mean, you've got DiCaprio. You've got Pitt. It's taking place in 1969. Margot Robbie playing Sharon Tate. Um, we don't know how much of this is actually going to surround Charles Manson stuff or if it's just going to be a piece in the puzzle. Uh, I'm assuming it's going to be very much in, you know, the Pulp Fiction and Reservoir Dogs. Just framing device of jumping from story to story, maybe stuff not being in sequential order. And uh, both those films are exceptional. Kill Bill was also great, and Glorious Bastards was way better than I anticipated. Django was awesome. But I, I must admit, despite how huge of a Tarantino fan I am, I was really was not the biggest fan of The Hateful Eight. It just didn't, I don't know, I think it would have worked better as a stage play or something like that, personally. The cast was also stacked for that, as we get in pretty much every Tarantino film with his notoriety at this point. Uh, the film comes out July 26th, I believe. Just want to double-check that factoid. Yep, and... Uh, yeah, boy, let's see who who all else is in it. Yeah, I thought Pacino was in it to go to Fanning, Bruce Dern, Emil Hirsch, uh, Luke Perry is in it. Oh, man, that's sad to think about, obviously. And uh, just, yeah, the names just go on and on and on and on and on. Yeah, Luke Temple, yeah, shout out, homie. So let's just check out what this uh, initial teaser is all about. I know it's less than two minutes, but I'm curious just to yeah, see how this is looking and, uh, and give some thoughts. So let's check it, y'all. And headphones are uh, definitely helpful. So, okay, now let's actually get this going properly. Sweet. On the lay. To my right is Bounty Law series lead and Jake K. Hill himself, Rick Dalton. And to yeah, my the guys. Rick Stutt, Double Cliff Booth. Ah, playing us. I like going with the old Columbia logo. That's dope. So, Rick, uh, explain to the audience exactly what it is a stunt double does. Actors are required to do a, a lot of dangerous stuff. DiCaprio playing a star of screen. <laughs> is that uh, how you describe your job, Cliff? No shocker. Carrying his load. Yeah, it's about right. It's kind of gross. Digging the base. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, there she is. Yeah, looking beautiful. Looking very much like Charing My hands are registered as lethal weapons. Nice. I accidentally kill you. I go to jail. Anybody accidentally kills anybody in a fight, they go to jail. It's called manslaughter. This is true. It's very observant, Mr. Pitt. Oh, I love, love the flavor already. This is awesome. Just the recreation of the 60s, man. So bomb. the best <laughs> acting I've ever seen in my whole life. Wow. Like you. <laughs> there you go. Well, very vague trailer, obviously. We know, uh, you know, at least the nature of uh, I'm going to run it back just so I can talk over it just a little bit but yeah so obviously we got some black and white behind the scenes stuff going down with DiCaprio and with Pitt here and it's funny how you know Pitt is the stunt double to DiCaprio I guess Pitt's supposed to be the slightly you know hard and tougher looking dude but more so than anything else I'm I'm a very big fan of this period in American history especially I mean hey I'm from the Arizona desert but you know there is that essence of fascination and yet also I guess competition with California but obviously yeah it's a it's a bustling you know hubbub of creativity it always has been it presumably always will be and just the authenticity of uh, this 1969 setting looks awesome whether it's driving around the city seeing the cinerama the pussycat all this different stuff I mean it was it was a pivotal time in American history and just in you know, modern history in general. Um, trying to see who this actor is that is playing 
person. Obviously, Bruce. Okay, so there is a character playing Steve McQueen in here. There's people playing infamous members of the of the Manson family. So we obviously know that's going to be a part of the process. I'm trying to see who this actor is who's playing Bruce Lee. Okay, so Mike Mull is playing Bruce Lee. So that is, in fact, yeah, obviously. And we have somebody playing Roman Polanski. So he's going to be a character. This is just me cycling through the IMDb and checking out some of the credits and stuff. Additionally, you're going to have cameos from everybody from Tim Roth to Kurt Russell to Timothy Olyphantastic, James Marsden. Yeah, this cast is like so redonk stacked. It's insane. But yeah, credit to the trailer for not really divulging much beyond the dynamic of our two main characters, you know, being Pitt and DiCaprio and Death. I know a lot of people are pretty stoked to see the two of them together. I definitely am. I mean, they're two guys that started out as more so pretty boys, at least in my estimation, in like the early 90s and stuff like that. But as time went on, they really both showed in separate fashion, but more so DiCaprio for me. I mean, I guess I, I loved him in Gilbert Grape, and that's where I saw that, okay, he could be, you know, something different. But then, you know, all the Titanic stuff sent him into, into a different stratosphere and whatnot. But yeah, he has really grown on me as an actor over the years. And, you know, Pitt has impressed since, you know, Fight Club and so on, and just, you know, getting into grittier roles and showing his range and stuff. But yeah, the authenticity of the set design here, just seeing them all cruising around. And I'm loving this actor who's playing Bruce Lee and talking about, you know, his hands being deadly weapons and everything. And the little manslaughter line is pretty funny. So yeah, man, I'm, I, I'm stoked for this. Obviously, you have to keep in mind, this is just a teaser. So it's not really... Really, the most that we have to go on is just knowing that with certain characters like, and I'm assuming that guy is supposed to be Charles Manson, the one doing the little the little wave at this particular point in the trailer. But yeah, knowing that they're going to be a part of the process, the Manson family and Tate and stuff, we know that that's at least going to factor into the storytelling to some degree. Who knows how prominently, but at least from the trailer, it looks like it's going to be all Pitt and DiCapi front and center. So, but once again, teaser. And, uh, yeah, July 26th is when we we're going to be seeing the ninth film from uh, Mr. QT. So, pretty stoked. And uh, I hope it'll be a really rad return to form after the slight lacklusterness that I mentioned to everybody here that I kind of thought hateful eight to be. So, what did y'all think about the trailer? Leave uh, some thoughts and some insight below. And, uh, yeah, I've been Jaime Fuego. You can find me on all social media sectors like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, here on YouTube, obviously, where you're chilling. I've got a new Star Wars review coming this weekend on the 24th. That's right, may the 4th be with you, the 24th in this case. I'm going film by film every month leading up to Episode 9. I'm also going to be doing some side excursions into the, the Clone Wars series. Uh, boy, what else? Uh, obviously, the main saga films and then the couple spinoffs. So I'm going to do Solo and I'm going to do... Rogue One, and uh, yep, just leading up to the December release of, you know, what is supposedly closing the Skywalker saga. Uh, also this year, since the Infuego team at relaunch, I've also been doing, uh, boy, I did uh, reviews of all eight of the Oscar Best Nominated Pictures, and then every Friday I toss out a new film review and uh, trying to increase the uh, consistency of the coverage, but really that's because the horror show does take front and center a lot of the time with my YouTube efforts, um, youtube.com slash the horror show channel we just did our early press screening of us this week and uh yeah there's a regular and the non-spoilers we cover everything under the horror umbrella on the horror show channel trailer reactions uh convention coverage video game let's plays obviously reviews so make sure to check all that stuff out it is supremely appreciated so i guess that will just wrap things up here uh having discussed uh, our first little glimpse at once upon a time in hollywood so until the real of ka ha ha comes around once more i say hasta luego cinemigos but i am hopeful that we reconnect sooner rather than later peace